guys, welcome back to Creative Glam. My name is Sharon. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. And if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. I am so glad you stopped by and decided to share a little of your time with me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Today I'm going to share with you my holiday brunch grocery haul from Wegmans. As the year is coming to an end, I can't believe I'm preparing for the holiday brunch already. It just seems like it went so quickly. Most of the items that you see here are for the holiday brunch. There are a couple items that will be for the dinner menu, but predominantly holiday brunch. My brunch menu consists of brioche French toast, shrimp and grits, an egg, bacon, tomato, and spinach frittata, hash browns, and mimosas, or apple cider, and coffee. So let's start with the hash browns. I got these hash browns um, because my family likes them, basically. I mean, I could do them from scratch, but with everything that I'm going to have going on, I decided I'd uh, take the help where I could get it. So uh, I got the ones with the potatoes and the green and red peppers in it. And I take it and I always kick it up a notch by adding uh, additional seasonings to it. But I like the way these taste and so does my family. And then I got some uncooked shrimp, uh, peeled, defanged, uh, and the tail removed. Because again, it's just one more step that you don't have to do. You don't have to wash the shrimp and then peel the shrimp and then take the tails off the shrimp before you cook it. And when you're doing shrimp and grits, there's a lot of little components that goes along with that recipe that you just really want to, again, take the help where you can get it. And I got some beef bacon, and this beef bacon will be a part of the frittata that we will be eating at brunch. If you're not into pork bacon, this is a really good substitute for turkey bacon. I got some cranberries and blueberries, and they will be used mostly as garnish for the French toast and the mimosas. I got some um, just pick the extra fine like Harry Colvert uh, green beans, and those will actually be a part of the dinner menu. And the dinner menu is going to consist of uh, twice baked potatoes, lobster tails, prime rib, and cheddar bay biscuits and green beans. Uh, I got some brioche bread. This bread is excellent for French toast. You slice it to the thickness that you desire and um, create your French toast. So I love this particular bread. I got sour cream. I needed a large sour cream because this sour cream is going to be a part, another dinner item. Um, this is going to be a part of the twice baked potatoes on the dinner on the dinner menu. So I got some whipping cream, and I got some Captain Crunch cereal, because this year we are going to do Captain Crunch French toast using the brioche bread. And I got some uh, shredded cheese that's going to be a part of the baked potato. It's also going to be a part of the shrimp and grits and it's also going to be a part of the um, frittata. And then I also got a large pack, the 100 count uh, of paper plates. Just because I needed them. And I got some uh, sea salt lace potato chips just to snack on. I love potato chips. I love salty, crunchy snacks. So Lay's potato chips is one of my go-to snacks. I also got some uh, sparkling apple cider, which will also be a part of the brunch menu for those of them that don't want a mimosa. Um, the sparkling apple cider will also be a part of dinner as well. I haven't picked up uh, my bottle of champagne. That's to come because I have to get champagne for the brunch and for New Year's. I also picked up, I love, as you can tell, I love Martinelli's, um, the apple cider. I also love their apple juice. It's pretty good. Then I got some uh, Quaker Oats. I don't know if it's Quaker Oats, but Quaker Grits. The quick five-minute grits. That's what I use to uh, make, well, that's what my husband uses to make shrimp and grits. I got some sugar back here so that we can... Uh, bake cookies. Cookies are going to be a part of the menu. Well, they're not going to be a part of the brunch, but we are going to bake cookies. How about that? 
Um, and then I've got some Dunkin' Donuts uh, K-Cups. I like those. Those are our normal uh, items that we keep on our coffee bar. But I also got some, um, as you'll see them down there, the freshly ground coffee as well. Um, and then of course my sangria olives. I eat those constantly. Not constantly, but I eat them a lot. <laughs> I enjoy them. I got these from the Olive Bar at Wegmans. And then I got some vanilla um, frosting to put on the cookies that I said that we're going to make. I couldn't for the life of me remember, uh, my kids are not little anymore, and I can't remember the icing that we used to use to make our, um, when you icing your sugar cookies, I couldn't remember if we used cream cheese, vanilla, or exactly what we did. So I purchased this. I hope it's the right icing. If it's not, my children will tell me. <laughs> uh, pure leaf green tea. I mean, not green tea. This is the extra sweet tea. Um, the pure leaf extra sweet tea. We drink too much of this. I've got two of those. Um, I also have some... And then I also have some salsa there. Here it is. I use the Kitchen Basics kitchen stock. I don't use the broth. I use the stock because the stock they uh, not only just use, not only do they use the chicken, but they actually use the chicken bone, so it has a more intense flavor than broth. Um, I've got some peanut oil, and I've got some uh, the spreadable uh, butter with sea salt. That's just a daily item that I use. And then the unsalted butter will be a part of almost everything. I don't think there's anything that I'm not going to be using butter in. And I'm sure I'm going to need more than that. Well, I've, actually, I have some already in the freezer, so this is just extra. And then this is the coffee that we'll be having um, that morning. I thought I'd try this because um, I didn't order my normal uh, Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee. I thought I'd try the coffee beans from Brazil. So I'm anxious to see what how that cup of coffee will taste. I've got some syrup. I've got some snacks back here. The um, mini powdered donuts. My husband likes those. That's his vice. He likes sugar. He likes sweet snacks. And I like salty crunchy. Potato chips are mine. <laughs> So we've got some cookie mix here. Uh, again, we're going to take the, the we're going to take the help where we can get it. Uh, the walnut chocolate chip and the sugar cookies. That's a tradition that we always do in the family. And then I've got some strawberry, some simply lemonade strawberry. I take and I mix that with my uh, extra sweet tea. It tastes really good. Um, and then the last but not least is I got cereal. The Captain Crunch cereal, as I said earlier, will be a part of the. Uh, French toast, Captain Crunch Brioche French toast. I also got some raisin brands, as my husband likes raisin bran. And I don't eat a lot of cereal, but when I do, I prefer the banana nut crunch. I tried forever to get my family to eat organic cereal, and I would purchase it, and I would just end up throwing it away. So we don't eat cereal the way that we used to because our children have left the nest. We are empty nesters. Okay, guys, that's it. We're all done. Now I'm going to get these groceries put away. So, guys, make sure you come back and tune in for the next video. I will actually share the items from the brunch menu. If you enjoyed my grocery haul, let me know. Leave me a comment. I appreciate you being here, and I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And now that you've made it to this point in my video, click one of the video links at the end of this video to see more home decor and menu ideas by Creative Glam. And with that being said, have a blessed day, and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Thanks for watching. Bye.